This hour, we spotlight the best songs of a great year in music. In fact, it just might be my favorite year, 1969. If you were born in 69, this is what mom and dad were listening to while you were crawling around on the floor. Like this one from the Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger freely admits the song was inspired by Hank Williams, who did a song called Honky Tonk Blues back in 1952. Here it is, cowbell and all, Honky Tonk Women on Big 95.3. I met a gin Stones on the Vinyl Express as we celebrate the biggest 45s of 1969, powered by Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. I'm David Carroll, and 69 was a big year for Three Dog Night, a group that specialized in finding great songs written by other people, then putting their own spin on those songs, making them huge hits. This is one of those. From the rock musical Hair, it's Chuck Negron singing lead on Easy to Be Hard on the Vinyl Express. This special edition of the Vinyl Express rolls on with the best of 1969. It's the Vinyl Express presented by Chattanooga Allergy Clinic and a song credited to the Beatles, although it's really a John Lennon record. It's the first track on Abbey Road. Ironically, this song called Come Together probably contributed to the Beatles breaking apart. Paul McCartney was not happy about being shut out of this one. When Paul offered to pitch in, John declined the offer, which did not go over well with Paul. Still, it went to number one, and it's on our list of the best of 69. More great vinyl after this. This one was recorded in 1967, and when it was first released, it was not a success, so the band broke up. Two years later, the record company put it out again. It became a hit, even though the band, the Zombies, no longer existed. In their immortal words, what's your name? Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? It's time of the season on Big 95.3. It's the time of the season. The Vinyl Express presents the number one song this weekend, 1969. That's Sly and the Family Stone and the number one song in the USA this week in 1969, our spotlight year. Great song with an important message that still rings true today. Sly sang that everyone is essentially the same regardless of race or background, and he had the band to prove it, the first rock band with members of different genders and ethnic backgrounds. The Vinyl Express is presented by Chattanooga Allergy Clinic, featuring the best music of 1969. That's the year Bob Dylan came to Nashville, hired the best session musicians in town, and sang Lay, Lady, Lay so that we could understand every word. Here it is on Big 95.3. Lay, Lady, Lay. The Final Express, in news this week in 1969. In the news, Americans inaugurated the new Republican president after eight years of Democrats in the White House. Of course, I'm talking about Richard Nixon succeeding Lyndon Johnson. In Super Bowl III, Joe Namath guaranteed his New York Jets would beat the Baltimore Colts, and they did, 16-7. At the movies, we watched True Grit, and our favorite TV show was Laugh In. That's the news in 1969. That's the Friends of Distinction with Grazing in the Grass. I can dig it, she can dig it, they can dig it, and I hope you can dig it, too. When I was putting together a list of great 69 hits, I decided to limit to one hit per artist, and with Creedence Clearwater Revival, that was tough. They had more hits than anybody that year. Bad Moon Rising, Proud Mare, Down on the Corner, Green River, and everything that was on the flip side of those records, too. So after much consideration, here's the one I've chosen to play. To me, it's the best representative of the mood of our country in 1969. I'm 
I'm David Carroll, and it's the Vinyl Express Best of 1969 Hour on Big 95.3. And before we zoom ahead 20 years in the next hour, let's celebrate a great year of music with the Temptations. And I do mean celebrate. Just don't let it get out of hand, guys. Hold, hold it. Listen. 